Bruce, it's a big moment on the Woody build here. I've, I've taken all your spacers out. I've had these spacers in uh, in the door, in the post, in the front, and the rear, trying to come up with the original numbers of uh, how it's set because that's going to dictate how that door strikes in that pocket. Remember, your doors were half the bottom of them were gone, and the tops were broke. So I really had nothing to go on. Uh, tried to call and get some help, with uh, really no no good uh, avenues on uh, get some good numbers off of another Woody. So I've just tried to uh, recreate it the best I can by crossing out numbers and measure both sides. And I think I've got it right on the money. So I've taken these out, I've welded some plates in, and now the body's officially welded to it completely, setting on its own weight. Then I'll come back in here and, uh, and then put in your floor and all that. But before I do that, now I'm gonna take the body off and finish out the firewall. And then uh, go probably go ahead and do the underneath and then put the body back on it and then we'll be ready to do some body work and, uh, and some woodwork. But uh, so far so good. I'm glad to get these stands out of here and, uh, and move on to something, something different. You saw where I've done all the uh, front work with your radiator uh, support and all that and I started your inner fenders. And I've got your inner fenders done back almost to the firewall. But I had to have, and I've got to have the firewall done to be able to finish up the uh, inner fenders. So I had to come in here and do all this metal work in here that I did securing, uh, attaching these posts like I did. So now I'll come in here and take your front end back off and then I'll finish up your firewall. And once I get the firewall all nice and finished up, then I've got to put the front end back on and uh, finish up your front end or fenders. Now I've got all your fenders and front end back off. Now it's time to uh, work on this firewall. Now I'm gonna take this body completely off of it and, uh, and do my firewall work. Then put it back on here, and then put my front end back on, and do my inner fender. So I'm gonna have to take this body off uh, this time, and then uh, one more time after I get all this uh, floor in place. And uh, this is kind of a big job, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna unbolt this thing, drop this frame uh, chassis right out of it, roll it right out from under, then my firewall, roll it back up in here, put it right back in place, and then I'll finish up with all I gotta do uh, as far as metal work. Then I'll take it back out, do my paint work and stuff like that, clean, clean all this up, then put it back on here, and uh, it'll be on there for good. So Bruce, I got your body bushings off, and you could not imagine how hard it was to get these off. They don't have any way to hold these, and a lot of these are up in a spot where you can't even hardly see them. So I've had to weld plates on it, and a breaker bar, and extension, and uh, heat them with torches, with the torch, uh, to get these out, I have no idea why Ford would have done it like that. Uh, absolutely brutal. But when I go back with them, I'm gonna weld a little tab on every one of them so that uh, we don't ever have to do that again. All right, now it's time to get serious on this firewall. Uh, the firewall blend that I've got to do right here is gonna be uh, some of the most difficult. Inside, they're gonna be pretty much flat, flat, flat panels everywhere. But uh, this top one, and even on the ends, that's not gonna be too difficult. But this top one's gonna be a little, uh, a little complex because I wanna make this out of one piece so I ain't gotta do a lot of scabbing and, and, uh, and joining up. So what I've got here is a piece here that'll go uh, all the way across and I want to go right back into this peach weld. But uh, it's gotta drop down because the Explorer had an arc to it on this side and a little arc to it on this side. Then your air conditioner unit is right in the middle and uh, I have to have it up higher in the middle where the air conditioner went. So it's gonna make me have to uh, stretch a little on this side, stretch a little on this side, I've got the uh, bend in it here and the bend in here, and I just keep working this down, rolling these corners down on each side. And if I can make this fit in there and intact weld right in place, that's gonna be huge. That's gonna be about the most difficult piece I've got to make here. I've got this piece made, which was the most difficult piece. I did it with one piece, straight for the peach weld, stretched it formed and rolled it right into the uh, firewall of the Explorer. Then I came back and uh, I sealed uh, with a two-part binding adhesive made by 3M. Uh, both sides of that weld and inspect that weld uh, extremely well and what that bonding adhesive is going to do for me one is going to seal that weld up so moisture don't get wicked into it and it start rusting and blistering later on and two it'll stop the noise sometimes we put these panels together when you custom build these cars uh, you get two panels that'll rub or squeak or pop or make noise and it'll drive the customer insane so I go ahead and eliminate that, eliminate that right off the bat Bonding adhesive on the outside, bonding adhesive on the inside of every single weld, inspect every single weld and every single panel. Now that one's done. Now I've already started on the, the, the sides here. And I've got this piece in and welded. I'm fixing to go in there and fabricate the piece for the other side. 
then I'll probably come back and, uh, and just cut this piece off. And I'm going to have this structure assembly for this uh, hood, hood end. So uh, I'll go in here and fabricate something for that. Well, it's a lot of work putting our Woody on our Explorer uh, running gear. But I want to show you the benefits we're going to have when I get this done. All right, here's our running gear. It's an 08 Ford Explorer. We chose this platform because the wheelbase matched uh, the wheelbase that we needed. This thing came with a 4.6 V8, uh, four-wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, every bit of that will work just like it did. Uh, independent rear suspension, extremely massive. Uh, full box frame all the way around, uh, integrated in rear hitch in it. So this is really going to be an outstanding running gear to have underneath our Woody. So you'll be able to use this like a daily driver, hook a trailer on the back of it, take a trip, uh, do whatever you got to do with this thing. So uh, just a great platform to have up underneath our Woody. Now the, the Woody and the Explorer are really becoming one now. You can see I've got your firewall done. I've had to cut a little bit of the Woody off here and then uh, blend it into the Explorer firewall. But it's, it's welded in all the way around, fabricated all the panels all the way around. I've sealed uh, with a two-part 3M uh, adhesive both sides your weld. I'm letting that cure. I went in here and knocked the, the top off a little bit of it. And uh, now I'll let this cure on out and uh, go inside and I can actually remove the uh, inner support. So let's go in and remove that inner support. And... All right, that's my last cut on this uh, post support. This thing's been in here since uh, for quite a while, setting these uh, front A posts. Uh, but now it's a moment of truth. Get this thing cut out and removed, and then uh, we'll shut this door and see if it stayed where it was. I've done a huge amount of work, and uh, keep your fingers crossed. Hope this thing is in the right spot. All right, here we go. Now, look here. That fits pretty dang nice. Almost a perfect gap. Actually, it is a perfect gap all the way around. My door seal is going to work good. There's uh, no structure support holding it now. It's all done just with the post and the floor, the, the Explorer. So I'm very tickled and very pleased with how good uh, this is fitting and working outstanding. And keep in mind, I had no outer panels to work with. I had nothing but a, a door that was, the whole bottom was gone. The bottom of the post was gone. The top of the door was broke. And I, I built the entire car structure and realigned it from this much of the door here and this much of the door here and the rear uh, window frame so uh, i'm extremely extremely pleased with how good that closes and strikes we're about to wrap this part of this up now that i know that your posts are where they need to be your firewall is all welded in nice uh now it's time that i'm going to put this running gear back up under here so that i can build your entire front clip just like it was so that i can finish out your inner fender structure your splashes uh, everything in the engine bay your analog brake mounts and uh, everything involved with that but i'm extremely stoked with uh, how nice the doors and stuff are fitting then uh, we'll go in there and do the woodwork and finish out everything we can finish out then we'll take this running gear stuff back out from under here clean and detail all it up get it ready to go and uh while that's out we'll do some heat shielding we'll put some uh, heat shield product uh, sound deadeners heat shields make this thing ride uh, good quiet and cool so uh, let's get to work on uh, putting this running gear back up under here <laughs>